All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Boy Blue and Bigby with a special guest today. <laughs> what? My wife. L. L. Yeah, hi. <laughs> and today we're talking about Bo Jack Horseman, the greatest show known to man, and in preparation for season five. Yeah. Which comes out on Friday. September fourteenth. Yeah, there you go. Fourteenth. <laughs> yep. So, so what are your what are your thoughts on Bojack Horseman? Who was the great <laughs> person who introduced you to it? Uh, that was you, Boy Blue. That's probably the first thing you uh, ever recommended to me at work. You kept saying, "Hey, you see that amazing show, Bojack Horseman?" Yet, day after day, I think every time I saw you, you kept bringing it up. <laughs> that is true. I bugged you <laughs> daily, and I you resisted for a long time. I feel yeah. like I remember you coming home and saying, "Oh, he hasn't watched it yet. He hasn't watched it yet." And then when you when you finally did watch it, there was a lot of excitement. I believe it. It's like his number one favorite show. It Bo is Jack my Horseman. number one favorite. Jack show. Is it your favorite? It's. I think it's my favorite show. More, you really like Breaking Bad. I do like Breaking Bad. Do you like BoJack more? I haven't watched Breaking Bad in a long time, so maybe I. I don't know. It might BoJack might be my favorite. It's pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. I I see. There's like a bridge connecting BoJack and Breaking Bad, and it's Aaron Paul. I think you're a big fan of Aaron Paul. That could be. Also, they both start with a B. Oh, hey, that's true. Yeah. So, but I, I think his connection was a little stronger. Yeah. <laughs> now it's being polite. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> so last season, spoilers for BoJack Horseman until now. Until so watch it. Catch all up. Five of you. <laughs> Who could watch it? Actually, um, four. Oh, good because point. Because uh, my fiance watched it, and she likes it actually. Oh, she likes Bojack. Yeah, I oh. told you this. I believe when I found out. That's probably. Oh, uh, yeah, I think you did. Wow. Yeah. You're really good at listening. <laughs> he he really is. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's like a, a family tree. I can see. You know, <laughs> I told you. You told her. You told me also. I told you. Yeah. you, Because I think I came home one day and you just said something along the lines of, there's this show. You should watch it. <laughs> well, the first time I watched it, I think you were teaching a student at our apartment and I quickly turned it off. Because... Yes. I remember this. Is it... I remember it vividly. And yeah. it's ironic given the day that we're recording because I remember you telling me why you realized you shouldn't have it on. Do you remember which scene it was? <laughs> Oh, uh, he think he says something is like worse than nine eleven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He, he says something oh, like that was goodness. more painful than. Or, like it, yeah. Yeah. He makes a very uh, not classy reference to. And I was like, you know what? I probably am going to turn this off for a little there bit. Are children here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe don't want them overhearing. <laughs> Listening to a a horse talking about it, but kids love horses. I mean, that would have been a point for a. Uh, Big uh, boy blue there. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, that is a good point. Yeah. Kids do love horses. Yeah, I, I think they would also really like a horse doing it with. What's the? Uh, oh, I always forget. What is she a nar a narwhal or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She sings this the sea. <laughs> the sea <laughs> shanty. <laughs> she just plugs her ears and starts singing. Mm -hmm. That's a good. Yeah, kids love narwhals too. Yeah, they yeah. should love Bojack. Kids should be watching this show. Yeah. That's what we're learning. It's a it's a show. Yeah. It's a it's a kids show. It's a kids show. It really a, a bunch of kids animals in there. Yeah, a dog, a playful dog. Yeah, Diane kind of ruins dogs. it. Yeah, Diane's always talking politics and feminism and stuff. So she's probably a little inappropriate and controversial, but, but the rest else. of the other characters yeah. are just animals. So yeah. and uh, what's Todd? It's like a child. He's yeah, just dealing with all this. All the insanity with the whole uh, horse, cat, and dog. Yeah, so I think what I'm hearing is when I babysit your eventual children, 
Um, (laughs) After watching a lot of BoJack Horseman and they get sleepy, uh, I'll read them Saga before they go to bed. (laughs) That'll be a good day. Yeah, and don't forget Watchmen. You got to read the Watchmen. (laughs) Oh, yeah, start with the classics. Yeah. 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 Show, Show them where we came from. Just say, hey, here you go, Uncle uh, Boy Blue is gonna read y'all some classics. <laughs> now it starts with a man looking down at a dead body, blood not, everywhere. Not to deviate from BoJack, but since we're on the topic of Watchmen, the other day we were looking up one star reviews for Watchmen because I like to I like to find one star reviews for popular books and series and then i just find some of them really amusing because some people really hate certain books a lot and so we were going through them and finding some that were pretty humorous but for the most part uh boy blue was kind of beside himself i i was i was getting a little a little salty what all these people who don't understand how great Watchmen is i'm gonna see if i can find one of the funniest ones and then (laughs) very salty read (laughs) Because you'd probably find it funny too. See, the fun. <laughs> what I do like about all Amazon reviews, though, are a good amount of them are have nothing to do with the product, like like the book itself. <laughs> It'll be like this arrived damaged, one star, and you're like, that has nothing to do. I want to do that Watchmen. for uh, the fault in our stars. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I want to star you for that one. Like I read it twice and. It wasn't good the second time as I did the first time. Oh, this one we found amusing. This one says all potential purchasers should know that this is not a book in the traditional sense. It's a comic strip. It may be good, but this format is not. <laughs> it's like, how did you not know? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the cover says graphic novel. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it just had like a, like a face palm moment. Like, uh, <laughs> this uh, can we are we able to hack and find these people and just send them a a angry letter saying excuse me uh, no oh, I, I would love to there was one person I did that for Mistborn and now you've read you've read the first Mistborn and this one I girl did. yeah this one girl <laughs> said something along the lines of so they ingest metals to get power that sounds really sketchy and it's like, yeah, because it's not real. It's made up. It's the magic system in this fantastical world. I bet you uh, she's over there eating gold shavings and whatnot and nickel and copper and everything, trying to get powers. I'm not getting stronger. I can't. <laughs> it's not working. I can't see all future. I want my money back. <laughs> I thought this was a tutorial. Yeah. I thought it was that an Elmister be- book. What? An Almaster book. What is that what it's called? Like one of those witchcraft books? Almaster? Almacy? Alamancy? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I feel very, very embarrassed right now. Why? Alamant. I can't pronounce that word for the life of me. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> there are lots of, um, there's this place in the Wheel of Time series that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've only read the first four. Outrageous. Have name. you read those? I have not. No. Oh, well, there's this one place. It's the dream world. And I think the pronunciation is Tel Aaron Riyadh, but it's got a lot of, it's got, I think, a couple commas. And it's a long word. I just (laughs) add syllables until she knows what I'm talking about. I just say Tel Aaron, Ron, Ron, Rod, Dog, Rod, Riyadh. I just say something like that. (laughs) Yeah. I feel like you're trying to say Rihanna at one point. Like at the end, you're like, hey, Rihanna. You could like, throw oh, that. Yeah. It would be fine. Tell yeah. Rihanna. <laughs> Riyadh. Riyadh. Yeah, that's, that's definitely the name of the yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're a little not on boat. We, yeah. <laughs> we're horsing around. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> play, play onward to the show. Yay. <laughs> I feel like Todd. I feel like Todd at this point. Like, yay. Contributing. <laughs> <laughs> So earlier, earlier you talked about how this should be 13 reasons why <laughs> Jack Horseman is the greatest. So do we have particular reasons or moments in the show? Oh, that's, that's a good way to focus this. 
Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to think of a, a reason why. Okay. I, I have to say, I, I like the, uh, the emotion in the story. I, I mean, as, know. as absurd as, uh, talking animals are, it's a pretty emotional story. I, I, once again, major spoilers here, but, uh, Sarah Lynn. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> when Sarah Lynn passed. Yeah. That was too much, man. Well, and you knew, oh, <laughs> you knew it was, you know, it's going to happen too in that episode and mm -hmm. they keep kind of teasing it and you're like, oh no, no, don't be dead. Don't be dead. And then she's like, what? And she wakes up and she's fine. You're like, but still, I feel like that's where they're going. And then, and then they hit you and it's in this like peaceful moment when they're at the, at the movie theater. Oh no, it's the, the astronomy, the planet, planetarium. Planetarium. Yeah. Yeah, I had like three wrong answers. <laughs> the movie theater. Astronomy. I think Hollywood, Hollywood stars and celebrity. Stu, what do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out. That's a reason it's great. You probably wouldn't have done well on that show, given how that, I, do, wrong I don't know things. Yeah, you don't know things. But I'm not a Hollywood. Let's find out. Yeah. yeah. That's true. You're not. That's true. So the the main reason why this show to me is really awesome. It's because I think in reality, that's how most actors are. Like the aging actors actually do that, like look for uh, movie gigs after transitioning from the uh, smaller screen, as it were. And then the uh, how much pressure the uh, children stars get as they're growing up and they end up going to like all these bad choices situations, you know? Yeah, I actually think the Sarah Lynn story is kind of more sad than Bojack. Bojack. Like, Bojack makes it and then just doesn't do anything and feels bad about himself. But Sarah Lynn, like, never was a normal little girl. No, she I never mean, had he, that opportunity. Yeah, and he didn't have a normal opportunity to be a kid either. But once he reached, well, I guess, I don't know, it's hard. Because she reached a different level of success. Yeah, she reached, like, mega Global, stardom. Yeah. Yeah. I love how we're talking about them like they're real. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's how great this show is. <laughs> that's true. They feel <laughs> they real. Them, yeah. Like you could name like a dozen celebrities right now who are just like Sarah Lynn. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's it's true. sad. I mean, I don't want any. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 13 but, celebrities. But I well, think, <laughs> I think we probably, I think most people could think of. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. It's kind of sad. It is. It's, it's not kind of sad. Life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that, so. What I'm assuming I already know the answer, but did you find it more depressing when Sarah Lynn died or when Herb, when he was sick and the, like, oh, maybe not sadder, but, but which part did you find more emotional or when pretty much the ends of the first three seasons or, or did you think it was more emotional when Bojack almost did stuff with what's her name's daughter? Oh yeah. With, uh, Penny? Yeah, with Penny. What is yeah. the mom's name? What is the mom's name? Olivia Wilde. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Wilde. Just throwing out random names for her? I don't think it was Olivia Wilde. So the question was most emotional. Penny and Bojack's uh, almost. almost thing. Yeah. Death of Sarah Lynn or death of her? Not even death of, just that moment where he tells him, get the F out. Oh, yeah, and that's that's a good moment. Tells him he's never going to forgive him, and he has to live with that the rest of his life, and all that. I honestly think the saddest part was probably... Huh. Sorry, it's just like trying to remember which one hit me the most and which there's one just I, so many sad I thought, parts yeah <laughs> i i think uh the penny thing isn't so much sad for me as more just like i think oh that no. was bojack's lowest yeah moment yeah it was i mean it's it's i i think i found the thing with the fly at the beginning of the fourth season oh that like, was that sad. was really heavy too Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. I I, almost... I found I found that more sad than the penny thing. That was like self destructive. Yeah, yeah. The, the fly thing was sad. 
I almost don't know if I want to watch that episode again <laughs> yet. It's a great episode, and there's a lot of – they sing in that one, right? A lot yeah, of the, yeah. Yeah, because in that one actress um, – I always forget her name. The blonde one that does his um, – Anyway, she was singing, I think, in that one also. Um, but the music's great. The episode's great. But it's depressing. <laughs> that one's hard to get through. A bunch well, of them are depressing. <laughs> it's hard yeah. to get through. The first were, season, after I saw it, I was like, why, Boy Blue? <laughs> why is what he is this? Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we actually have a friend. Uh, so we were hanging out with a friend and then uh, another friend and his fiance i guess now and we were talking about uh how they have to watch uh bojack horseman because they had never seen it and then our other friend who had seen it was like i mean it's good but i don't know like it makes me too sad like, <laughs> oh, i know who you're talking yeah. about for a second i'm like who yeah who are you talking about? Yeah. yeah he gets it bums him out pretty hard yeah that entire show i'm like yeah. it bums out everyone well, our our friend was saying he has a hard time watching that show because it's about a guy trying to get better and continuously failing. Yeah. <laughs> and this is not. Although I will say, I think the end of season four seemed like maybe Bojack's gonna get better, but all of our side characters are gonna go through more like worse situations. Yeah, because Mr. Peanut Butter and Diane didn't end so great. At the end of season four. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. They because he made her that like library, right? Yeah. Wait, before you say anything, oh. before you say anything, Big B, do you remember that at the end of season four? Which one? Which the ending? Mr. Peanut Butter? Diane talks about how she always wanted her own library, basically like her a own, bell library, a bell library. Yeah. Like from Beauty and the Beauty Beast. and the Beast. And then when they get home, he makes one. Like he has one made for her. And she gets really frustrated and she gets upset with him thinking like, why would you think this is what I want? Because like, you said it's what you wanted. And she was... See, that, that kind of ticked me off because she tells him that's what she wants and then he's like, okay, uh, I'll make you one. And out of nowhere, she's like, I don't really want this. What are you doing? Like, He's listening to her. Well, So I, I actually agree with you and this is this is an intriguing thing we're learning here. So I'm I'm kind of with you when I saw that. I was like, I he's trying. I mean, he's like extravagant mm -hmm. and crazy, but he's trying. And she did say that was like her fantasy or her like dream. Mm -hmm. right. Well, and and he. So I don't actually. Um, I mean, she she definitely gets really mad. But I think if we take that episode in isolation, it seems like she's overreacting big time. Because he doesn't tell her, I'm going to make it for you. And then when he does make it for her, she gets upset. Like She has no idea he's planning on doing that. She's just telling him her little childhood fantasy. And then he goes all out with it, and she gets upset. So she seems crazy. But when you watch the other seasons, and you see he does it all the time. He takes credit for the Hollywood, the D sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she doesn't know that it's not him that does that. But that's really extravagant. She has their whole on his little reality TV show for a while. Then she has their story made into a, well, sort of a movie, and then it turns into an app and or he, a gift basket or something. He proposes to her publicly too, right? Yeah. Because everyone's he, hidden. It looks, yeah, yeah, it looks private, and then it, it turns out it's public and it's all for show. And then her birthday party, she just wants to come home <laughs> and relax, and he has the ballroom. Yeah. And oh, yeah, the ballroom. By ballroom, there's yeah. literally... Yes, yeah. everywhere and then the starbucks in the and so she's kind of trying to meet him where he's at but he doesn't he never does anything kind of low-key and that's mm -hmm. how she is i feel like she's said it to him before and he's always expecting her to be grateful for his grand gestures when she doesn't want grand gestures and she's made that clear but he is coming at this like well i'm trying i'm trying but if somebody tries to constantly make you dinner a dinner that you don't like and they're like but look i try this doesn't mean you're gonna want the dinner if you told him like sorry i kind of spit <laughs> <laughs> if you've told them over and over again that you don't like it and then they keep doing it and they expect you to be grateful because because they tried yeah and i mean i get that i thought and maybe the show's too clever for me maybe she just said this because it was like in the moment but her reasoning i think was like oh but that 
that was mine though. That fantasy was mine mm -hmm. and you took it from me. I thought that was a little, that's a strange argument. If you wanted it to, to not it actually exist, I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's what she meant. Yeah. That's true. That part is weird. Maybe she means it was supposed to be in her in her mind. Like it was her little little fantasy. And by making it real, it wasn't a fantasy anymore. I don't know. Mayhaps. I mean they I think they have communication problems in general. I think that's probably true. I yeah. think maybe yeah. that the <laughs> just are not for each other. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Although I mean Going back and rewatching, is it season one when they get engaged or is it season two? I think they're engaged they get for a little bit. Engaged in season one and yeah. they're married, I think. Because she gets engaged around the time that the her thing happens. Because then he kisses her on the oh, way back. Yeah, or on something. the way back. I'm yeah. forgetting the timeline, but but I mean rewatching the older episodes, they're so awful for each other. It's <laughs> almost painful to watch. What do you think, Big B? What do you think of Mr. Peanut Butter and Diane? I, I actually agree with you. They're both not right for each other. Like, I figured she would end up with Bojack because uh, they both actually were with each other through uh, tougher times. But for the whole library thing, he actually did that himself for her. And the whole, you know, the D and whatnot, that, like you guys said, it was accidental. This is the one time he actually did it, uh, what, how should I say, selflessly with no, uh, like, no, no thinking of a reward kind of situation. Right. Like he just did it. He was trying to do something nice. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of the other times, uh, the other stuff, there were other people involved, mm -hmm. like her birthday or the TV show proposal, all that stuff. And so it seemed like he misunderstood and thought grand gestures were good as long as it's just between the two of us. And yeah, that's interesting. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, theory. <laughs> yeah, or maybe the, the show writers are just like, ha ha, and let us believe whatever and make our own conclusion. Yeah. I don't know why this came into my head, but for some reason I started thinking of uh, – Jessica Biel on that show and how oh. great of a character she is. I think it's amazing. And the fact that uh, they like kill Zach Braff and possibly eat him in an episode. Or burn him. Yeah. Like that's one of the most bizarre episodes. That's so hurts my brain. I really actually kind of like it. That episode and then the episode where they do drugs. Those two episodes really hurt my brain. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, when they're all just sitting around taking, what is it? Uh, was it cocaine or something? They're snorting something. They're trying to write a story all together. With, yeah, yeah. And they end yeah. up like messing up every time. Well, and there's that. I love in that episode the bit with the doctor who's named Doctor Who. Oh. <laughs> Sir Lindsay, yeah. Doctor Who. I met him at Adam Levine's party, <laughs> Halloween party. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, Doctor Who. Yes, that's me. I'm Doctor Who. That whole bit is fantastic. Third base. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I like that bit too. I feel like I I accidentally steered us. We we're talking about Diana, Mr. Peanut Butter, and I thought of Jessica oh, Biel. Okay. So no, that is I. Think that, that whole thing is funny. Or who's the character that he always shouts? Uh, Mr. Peanut Butter always shouts, and it's like Erica. Yeah, Erica. <laughs> I wonder if they'll ever show her. I don't know. Erica seems like she has some problems. Like she's got to have something wrong with her face. Yeah, because she's been burned or something. But, like she's got. <laughs> All the times he mentions Erica and something wrong with her. I'd be curious to see what she looks like after all that. You know, we were kind of talking about sad slash depressing moments slash destructive moments. There are so many. <laughs> um, I was pretty bummed that he burned bridges with the director, the the one who was yeah. shooting the secretary. Because she was going to do that other movie or something and he said he was going to oh and that and wasn't his fault though that was the that was princess carolyn's fault right? carolyn that yeah. whole episode and then he that's why he fires her yeah yeah because he not only loses the part for the one that they cast the zebra for what yeah. is it i don't remember it's, it's something ridiculous it's some kind of hero story or whatever yeah. so they don't cast him for that and he loses the really weird one about jelly beans isn't that what it is the weird indie movie that oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. With jelly beans <laughs> They have a lot of weird movies going on. 
<laughs> but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I was bummed. Do but you- I mean, it was a good. I mean, it's, it's good TV. I think that's the thing. Like, there's so much drama. I always thought, and I'm surprised it wasn't done. And I, so I'm curious what your take is on this. I still feel like there might be a chance, especially given how poorly we are sh- like left off with Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter, that I feel like Diane is going to try to do something with BoJack. And then that's just going to mess things up a lot. You see, I feel that is actually where the show's going. Yeah. So you see everybody's destructive... Uh, path heading down certain ways. Uh, Bojack, Diane, and then uh, we'll finally get to see Mr. Peanut Butter angrier. Right. Because he's always so cheerful, and I don't like that. Yeah, the only time he gets yeah. mad, were you going to say the same thing? Well, yeah, I was going to say, there, there's, like a, there's like a couple times where he gets like really angry, and you're like, whoa. But again, it's almost always there's people around, because yeah. it's on mm-hmm. the Hollywood stars and the celebrities where they know they know things. He gets mad at him during yeah. that show. And he confronts con, uh, confronts him about the fact that he kissed Diane. But I think Di- I think Bojack is going to be doing well, and then Diane's going to do something, and essentially she's going to make a move. And because he does like her, I think he's going to kind of go back to thinking he's a terrible person because he's not going to stop her. Or maybe he'll show a moment of maturity and actually like. Maybe. But that would probably ruin his relationship with her, but it might be for the best. Yeah, that could be. I could see that happening. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like Bojack Horseman's only instinct is to uh, screw things up at this point. <laughs> the better yeah, but, thing in his life. <laughs> but I, th- I think Hollyhock had a really well, positive invi- er, uh, influence on him. Like I feel like he's on the up and up. He's... Definitely not ready to be a father. You know, that was, I'm glad she's not. His daughter. His his daughter, because that would be awful. But I think he is, uh, he could be a brother. I mean, I guess that's how the season ends. Like, yeah. you know, she even tells him, I never wanted a dad. I have eight dads or whatever she says. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a brother. So I don't know. I, I think, uh, I think he could maybe start making some better decisions here. Yeah. And then Friday will come around. We'll watch him mess everything up. And, yeah. <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen with Princess Carolyn? Her her little thing was really sad with her mouse, her mouse man. Boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, I kind of liked her better with uh, what is it? Human. What what was that guy's name? <laughs> the two kids stacked on each other. <laughs> Vincent. <laughs> I like the yeah Vincent. Vincent adult I, man's a yeah. <laughs> I, I like them together. But I was actually <laughs> hoping they get together. <laughs> you can't have a real relationship with Vincent Adult Man. Bro. Hey, they never uh, denied he wasn't an actual person. That's true. Maybe he's <laughs> just a guy who does oh, business yeah. with he's, actions. No, he sees his... Yeah. She sees the, him as a boy. <laughs> That's his son. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> we never see them in the same room. Uh, I have chocolate on my face because I yeah. kept him and I got the chocolate from him on me. Exactly right. Or you know what? Maybe uh, Princess Caroline and Todd will get together. I mean, they might be good for each other. That, well, that, number one, I don't think so. <laughs> number two, uh, Todd's, uh, Todd's like asexual. asexual. Yeah. That's, that's uh, you thing. never know. I mean, he could. Todd's a strange one. He always picks something up. <laughs> that's, that's true. What what zany adventure will Todd get in? Maybe he'll. Oh, this would be interesting. Maybe he'll donate, <laughs> and then she'll have little kitten Todds, yeah. and then he'll be their father. That would be. Yeah. Interesting. I don't think that's gonna happen at all. But <laughs> since you, <laughs> you brought up them, possibly a possibility. I also like it when Todd gets serious too. I feel like when Todd or Mr. Peanut Butter get serious, it's like a. It's usually directed at Bojack, and it's usually something he needs to hear. Yeah. Because Todd is so mistreated <laughs> all the time. Poor Todd. That's that's the understatement. It's like, uh. Didn't he admit that he was just kept them there to feel better? 
Yeah, this, I think he does say something like that. Something along those lines. Yeah. But now I'm just thinking of Kelsey. Is that the name of the director? Yeah. The, they're singing for being like, I love this guy. I love his face. Yeah. <laughs> 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 What are, that was a good impression. Of, yeah, it, it really was. <laughs> what are some of your favorite, your favorite funny moments from the show? That's I, true. Going back to our original Thirteen Reasons Why Bojack's so great, <laughs> I love all the animal puns. One of my favorite ones is when Bojack has that memory of him and his bird friends, and she's like, "I thought he was ready," because she must have apparently pushed her. Baby bird out the window. <laughs> yeah. It was like, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> I mean, I think I already kind of said mine. I It's so weird, but I am oddly drawn to that whole weird underground thing where they, Todd's like the king and then they burn Zach Braff. I don't know why. Oh, it's, I- it's not like one of the, I, I'm trying to think of like my favorite moment ever, but. It's so bizarre. I kind of like it. Do you like then when they, is it the termites? Yeah, I like that too. That part's so weird. But I think, I'm I'm thinking about more things. I like uh, the whole, the whole thing with the gun policy. Oh. That's pretty amazing. That they, that Americans hate women more than they love guns. hate women more than they love guns. guns, yeah. And then I also like uh That episode's painful though, because it's I mean, I'm interested to see if you think this too. When we watch this that episode where they keep talking about all the shootings, and then and then they'll go, American tragedy, so it's a tragedy, it's a tragedy. Uh, and then they're like, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. And then they just move on to how it's gonna affect the movie. It's very painful. And that's exactly, that's exactly how they do that in uh and the television news story, like, oh, very tragic. On to sports or the next thing. But, I, I uh, also like, uh, I like the whale and anytime he's on the news, that news anchor. <laughs> yeah. And I like uh, Neil McBeal, the Navy SEAL. Oh, my gosh. I, yeah. I like that whole episode. It's like, <laughs> I had dibs. Yes. Like, who's the actor again that? Oh, who's Neil McBeal, the Navy SEAL? Yeah. I don't know. I'm forgetting he's now. In- or oh, well, maybe I'm thinking of the penguin from the publishing house. Is it the same actor that does them? Do you know the, peng- oh, yes. the penguin from? Is oh, it the same Pat guy? Pat Oswalt. I think yeah. it is Pat and Oswalt. Is he? Does he do both? I don't know if he does Neil McBeal. I'm gonna look it up. But Neil McBeal. Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. That, that whole thing. That one. <laughs> they have some of the most amazing puns on that one. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> so not just the news anchor, but then the the headlines on the news station. Say something like Neil McBeal, the Navy SEAL. <laughs> and then oh, I wish I could remember what else they say on the headline. <laughs> Those are always great. And then uh, the whole uh, Beyonce like tripping. And, bills, bills, yeah, bills. I, some of those early puns are pretty amazing. <laughs> I like how much the Beyonce person doesn't sound anything like Beyonce. <laughs> I have fallen. <laughs> it's <just> like... <laughs> The underwater episode. Oh yeah, probably was my favorite one because at the end they show him how to push the button, how to talk. He's like, "Ding!" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I for- How did I forget about that episode? I really like in that episode <laughs> on the bus when the seahorse is delivering and yeah. the book that says like, "What is this?" It says something like, "How to deliver for male seahorses" or something. It's something yeah. like that. <laughs> that part's really, or yeah, I don't remember exactly. <laughs> That's great, though. <laughs> that, that whole, whole episode, episode. Yeah. That one's really creative. Did you find it? No, I'm having a... I'm on IMDb now. Let me see. Neil McBeal. It's okay. I don't know if it's... Oh, it Neil is Pat Oswalt. Well. Good it? job, is... everyone. Boom. Thanks, Thanks uh, for doubting this, boy. Sorry. Boy. Uh, support. So no, I, I got a little distracted because there's a whole... There's a whole subreddit dedicated to did Neil McBeal, the Navy SEAL, have to <laughs> discuss? And there's a lot of replies. Oh my gosh. As, as to why he had dibs or not. <laughs> uh, that's great. One person said, no, he didn't have dibs. And then someone else said, I think you hate the troops. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I mean, not hating the troops. Yeah, never. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I like Neil McBeal. 
What do you think of the underwater episode? I think it's good. I don't think it's one uh, personally I rewatch or want to rewatch a whole lot. I know like a lot of people, and by a lot of people, I mean, I think it's like pretty beloved. It's artistic. Cri- critically, <laughs> yeah, it's artistic. But um, I mean, it doesn't really advance the plot a whole lot, except that you kind of see that he, I mean, he like cares for that little seahorse. You're like, oh, maybe he, you know, has a soft spot for kids or something, but. Yeah, I think it kind of hints at, but then he sees Kelsey at the end and he's trying to talk to her. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. But it's not my favorite. I think it's funny how they tied in that, the whole underwater kingdom, basically, with the bizarre spaghetti strainer situation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the most random, because you know, you, you know they're leading up to something when... When Mr. Peanut Butter's house just is filled with filled with spaghetti strainers. spaghetti strainers. Oh, that's right. And then uh, all the so I also loved how his his friend's idea to have a basically an Uber with female drivers <laughs> turn into like an Uber with like strippers. The strippers, yeah. The, that the that the was orcas. like I that was really funny. I think I figured out what might be one of your favorite things from the show. Okay. Thank you. The guy's hands. Oh, yeah. I, I love... Uh, when he's running for governor. Everyone's focused on his hands and what kind of hands he has. Yeah. I don't... Or, yeah, it's just... They're just like, I don't really like his hands. I don't trust those hands. <laughs> and then what ends up making he, them... He, uh, and then uh, Jessica Biel, like, gets guacamole or... Avocados. Or avocados, yeah. Who doesn't like avocados? Yeah, she... Oh, yeah. I really liked because I figured that they would have something on that show that's sort of related to the political... Environment. happenings yeah. yeah but i think that they they handled that well in that it didn't feel like they were telling anybody to like or dislike any pol- political party it just they just kind of made fun of how politics ridiculous and, yeah i mean how politics have been i guess and yeah in the United there's States. only so are there any episodes i'm curious now big v are there any episodes that you don't care for that i don't, I don't care, care for, for? yeah uh, the one where uh, Diane's uh, parent died, I guess, or somebody dies, and her oh. and Bojack take the road trip, and her, you find out like all the brothers love Bojack and they dislike her. I did not care for that one very well. I, oh, really? I very much love that episode. <laughs> oh, wait, and the black sheep. Yeah, I like. So you're the black sheep of the family? No, that's scary. I I like all the brothers and their Boston accents, and I like how. Uh, they they want to like it's so bizarre saying this out loud they want to like use their dad as like chum and dump it on Derek. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. i think that's super funny i so there's one episode that i you know so they have the occasional episode that's really political like the gun episode um i had a hard time we don't have to get into it too much but the one abortion episode with a uh, sextina oh, yeah. aquafina and then like it turns into a song and that one's that one's rough. Yeah, that's for a- me. I mean, I think they're. I think in general they're trying to always take serious situations and try to make people laugh, um, and then maybe at the same time point out sides to different stories and stuff. But that that one's rough for me. That one's a little difficult. I don't know. You're not thinking about it now. Yeah, I, kind of, I agree with you over that one. It's just a little uh, for both Jack's sake, like too bizarre and out there for me. Yeah, the the song they have her sing, I can't remember. It's it's pretty pew pew pew. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. Or yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's and it's it's such a weird uh, thing too because doesn't Diane like accidentally tweets? Because isn't she like? Uh-huh. Uh, so Aquafina's, yeah, media, she like yeah. accidentally tweets that she's pregnant. Uh, she might be, or pregnant. she she tweets that from um, the wrong account or something. And so, like, the singer's not even pregnant, but then she becomes like oh, pro-choice and all that. That's right. She, yeah, yeah the singer wasn't even. Yeah, I, but I think she, that's right. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it became a political thing. Right. It kind of it's, became. Popular. It's a weird episode. I mean, I think if you take away all of the stuff with the singer though it's kind of, it's a sad thing for diane maybe yeah and mr peanut butter yeah yeah 
I don't know if I want to talk about episodes that are not my favorite or scenes that are maybe. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have. I mean, I think it's fair to say you you're probably not so much a fan of the underground. Uh, yeah, that, one. the whole yeah, whatever they are, the the one where they go underground. I got so frustrated when the uh, governor gets them out. Basically, he provides them with an escape route, and then Mr. Peanut Butter just shouts a bunch, and then it collapses. <laughs> <laughs> so frustrating. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other episodes you don't like. You don't like that one. You don't like the pew 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 one. I like most episodes. The, yeah. the one where they're on drugs is very strange. That one is a lot. So um, there's one other that I feel like I maybe don't love as much. I can't even remember what it is. <laughs> uh, the first couple... I think it takes a couple episodes before you're really invested in that show. So uh, I just thought of this right now. Um, one of my favorite episodes was the whole murder mystery or the treasure hunt thing where all the whole cast of Horse and Round goes looking for this uh, treasure that uh, supposedly the, uh, I don't remember who hides it. Here. And they all try to figure it out. Yeah, don't they think the bear or something? Yeah, yeah I I like uh, how the... I'm trying to think which one it is. I guess the oldest sister on the show like just has a British accent now. And they're, they're yeah. like, you're not, you're not British. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also, you know, I feel bad for Ethan. They almost stirred Ethan around. And oh. then he... Bojack walks out on Bojack him. Bojack walks out on him, yeah. Yeah. One of the many Bojack. Like, yeah, it's like flaking. they get you all excited because it seems like he's going to do something. And then he stops, right? Because he sees like another little child actor or actress. He thinks of Penny or something, doesn't he? Or no, he thinks of, he thinks of, of Sarah, Sarah Lee. Lee. That's right. Yeah. And that. <laughs> you know, ruined her too. I mean, it's still not great that he walks out on the project, but I can kind of get it. It's pretty scarring, I think, if a child star you knew um, dies of an overdose. Also, I guess we haven't really discussed this yet. How weird is it when him and Sarah Lynn start hooking up? Super oh, weird. That's really weird. Yeah. <laughs> I, I repressed it. Thank you for uh, bringing that back, Boy Blue. <laughs> that was like one of the things I was like, oh, no. Like, I cringed watching it. And yeah, I pressed it up until this point. Yeah, that, that part's pretty cringy. And then, obviously, like, the the almost him being with Penny is, like, way more cringy. Mm-hmm. But kind of, like, along the same same lines. I don't know. I, I think the thing is, like, what I didn't understand about his thing with Penny is... uh. I mean, he clearly had feelings for Olivia Wilde. I can't, I can't think of her name now either. But, <laughs> but like, why would you then think, well, she's going to stay married to, you know, her husband. I'll try to get with her daughter. Well, he it's tried, such a he weird... He tried to tell her no, and then she came back. He told her no twice. That's true, that's true. Well, he also got no, the, no her, twice. He isn't also like... got her friends drunk. <laughs> Yes, and that was also like a very bad moment for both. I wonder if there's gonna be consequences for that. If there was some kind of camera at the hospital that'll show that he was the one responsible for just dumping that girl off at the hospital. Yeah, Yeah, that that was pretty bad. That that whole uh, that whole arc, yeah. yeah, the whole excursion in New Mexico is not great. So where do where do we see Princess Carolyn going from here? Like I, I think we I think I'm predicting better things for Bojack. I think I'm predicting worse things for Peanut Butter and Diane, but I think Princess Carolyn, I can't tell what's gonna happen with her. Her she kind of hit rock bottom at the end of season four. Yeah. She didn't do well. It's like a I think out of all the characters, hers kind of stays uh, linear with her issues and everything. Like, it just stays one slow route. 
like Bojack's is a roller coaster. That's true. Diane and and Mr. Peanut Butter are like shaky, but uh, Princess Caroline always has like the same kind of situations going over and over again. That's true. Because at this point, her company's gone under, right? Yeah. Or was it hinting that it would? I don't remember now. She decided at the end that she wasn't going to be, she was going to go back to being. Yeah, like an agent. Is that what she decided? No, she was going to be a manager. Yeah, I can't even keep track them. of yeah. She started her own agency. Right. And then I think in the end, she decided she would be a, I don't remember now. Yeah. I feel kind of bad for this fictional character. But yeah. I don't remember her story. <laughs> I also no. I, I, another sad episode was uh, her thinking about her, her like great granddaughter or whatever oh, it was yeah. that'll like never happen. That was sad. that was that was a sad episode. When she's telling Bojack, well, none of it's real, but it makes me feel better. Yeah. Yeah, with her necklace. When she finds it's because she finds out her necklace yeah. isn't real. That is a sad episode. Yeah, it it doesn't end well for her. Yeah. Yeah. That is the episode, right? Yeah. 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 So hopefully things get better for Princess Carolyn. But I still want her to be with uh, with the mouse. Really? Even though his family hates... Oh, yeah. His family <laughs> hates, hates cats. cats. They have, like, holidays or something where they celebrate... <laughs> like the hating yeah. the cat. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess it's true. I think if he had stood up to them more, but... It, it would make family gatherings uncomfortable if they were always uh, just hating her because <laughs> she's a cat. Well, any... Oh, oh poor Caroline. Yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> I forgot about the whole family, the holiday thing. That's really uh, sad and depressing, yeah. It is. What were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say, I mean, I feel like, uh, I don't know, we've hit sad parts. We've hit funny parts. We've done some predictions. Yeah. Do you have any, like, clo- any further points? One last prediction. Okay. I think Todd is going to become a uh, <laughs> a mainstream actor. Mm. Oh. Season five. <laughs> yeah, so that's a good... So if Todd became famous, do you think Bojack would be would devolve? Do you think he'd become jealous? Yeah. I could see that I don't know. happening. I don't know that he would. Or do you think he would be happy for him? Oh, speaking of things, the first messed up thing he does is ruin Todd's rock oh, opera. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that was the first playing time the game. I, yeah. I was really like, upset with it. Well, I can't remember. But I was pretty upset that he ruined the rock opera. Yeah, he hires character actress Margo. <laughs> Martin. <Margo. Margo. laughs> <laughs> her oh, storyline gets weird. What a great character. <laughs> I like I like her a lot as well. She's so funny. I was thinking about when he wants to film the episode of, or not the episode, but the scene in Secretariat. And so the, in order to get into that library, yeah, they have to create it. Commotion, <laughs> and it's just like shooting at the at the police, yeah. cop, and everybody. And there's like that panda. Oh, you know what episode's weird? Is the one with the uh, Bojack's co-star that accidentally commits suicide because. He was... Oh yeah, that episode yeah. is super weird. Yeah, <laughs> but I do like when he's like when um, his girlfriend. The yeah, apple. I was gonna say we we haven't touched on her either. Yeah. Yeah, their relationship made me sad. But when she comes in, she's like, can we talk about the elephant in the room? And then the one guy's like, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I just, wow. <laughs> the, like Home Depot guy is the elephant. <laughs> yeah, Lisa Kudrow does the owl. And she was so nice. Another weird Todd adventure with, uh, with the owl is that he trademarks Disneyland. <laughs> and it turns out yeah, to so. the Disneyland is spelled. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really weird episode. And the Russian but I don't know why I find it so funny, but at the end, uh, like, Todd is in trouble. There's two parts I really like. Todd is in trouble, and then he's like, bees! And, like, the bees are, like, super muscular, and it's, like, <laughs> zooming in on them. 
and, and they just, just like fly, fly away, away and then like <laughs> d don't help and then uh <laughs> mr peanut butter like it starts playing that song and he like heroically saves todd i like that for some reason that always <laughs> makes me laugh that says that that's pretty funny i but i like the sleeper the communist yeah. spy and they're like oh and he's like he's literally a soviet spy who wants to destroy <laughs> america but he makes some like russia spy right he was. Or, 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 he makes a Russian pun, right? And they all like, like no, like. Oh, he does. I don't remember what it is though. It, oh. I think it's something as Soviet. Oh well, if then I have to leave Soviet or I'm something. Like, oh. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's pretty good too. Oh, I don't know why this is. I'm just things are just popping in my mind. So his uh, Bojack's. Um, the person who's like gonna get him the Oscar, you know, and he has like that thing with her. Um, yeah, his his um, publicist. Agent. Yeah, whatever she is. Yeah. When he like just watches her making macaroni, and then decides he's not like, as attracted. To her yeah, and like she like spills it. I don't know. That always like makes me really sad. Like he sees her like norm like as a person. As a person, and he's like, "Well, I, she's not interesting anymore." And he's like, "No, oh. sad." whole bunch of those episodes are just like <laughs> suppressing yeah it goes up and then down up and down yeah and then there's also i'm trying to think of funny little side characters there's like the poor little otter who just wants to like be with his son the mr the, Miss, his accountant or something. yeah yeah and then mr peanut butter is like i have a new idea and he's like that won't work <laughs> oh and why are he all goes, the other why are all Sarah Lynn's friends lemurs? Aren't they lemurs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what were you gonna say? I just remember, like, he doesn't he kidnap him at one point, like, yeah, he's... when he's trying to spend his son's birthday or something. He just like <laughs> takes him. Yeah, he's just like playing catch with his son, and then he like he's like, "Dad, what song is this?" He's like, "Oh no, that's a really sad song. Don't listen to it." It's like the uh, "Cats in the Cradle" song. <laughs> he's like, "It's really applicable to this situation." <laughs> <laughs> the I gotta say the best side character is Vincent. That's like my favorite I side so. character. I, I think it's safe think to say so. Vincent's the best. Yeah. You know, a website dedicated to just Vincent adult man quotes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like hello fellow human adult. Adult, yeah. <laughs> That's great. I just like that when they're going on vacation, his swimsuit is like just like colored trench coat it's got like palm trees or something don't on it. mr peanut butter and todd ask him for advice yeah like financial yeah. advice or investment <laughs> advice yeah yeah he is i agree i think he's the best side character i also like andrew garfield's appearances oh <laughs> andrew garfield hates mondays a halloween store in january yeah that's brilliant <laughs> what a novel idea <laughs> It's a uh, it's just a great show, and and I if someone listens to this and hasn't watched it, it sounds like the ramblings of like crazy people. It also probably sounds like a terrible show. No, <laughs> I mean it's great, but like it's so depressing. It's so depressing. <laughs> yeah. There's this one funny part. That that's what that's they're gonna take out from this whole thing. It's a depressing show. <laughs> it's also really great though. <laughs> you really care for the characters. They progress. I do. I do care for all the characters. Not so much a Vincent adult man, but you know, <laughs> he's there for humor. He's going to be an award winning actor in that show. Watch. I just, I like, three Oscars. <laughs> I like how Allison Brie does multiple voices and they're all obviously Allison Brie. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not like she's doing a whole lot to change her, her voice. Who else does she play in that? Vincent Adult Man. She plays Vincent Adult Man? Oh, I guess she fooled you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she did. I'm like, what? Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah, they yeah. got an actual child for that. No, no, that's 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 <laughs> Allison Brie. She does, I think, another one too. I just like a really minor character. Yeah. I mean, obviously Diane, and then she does a couple others. She does. Oh, you want me to look it up? I don't know if it's okay, that important. important, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's she's Vincent Adult Man. Oh wow! 
I just I like it when he like has his like broom hand and he just like pets. <laughs> he just pets Bojack. He's like nice horsey. <laughs> good good moment. I want to like put that as my uh, profile picture, Vincent Assault <laughs> Man. <laughs> Business transactions. <laughs> You know, that's all you're going to get from me from now on, Boy Blue, is pictures of Vincent Adult Man. That's all right with me. <laughs> well, I think, I think I've think i said my piece. Yeah. What about you, Big B? Yeah, it's an amazing show. It has a roller coaster of emotions. Everybody's progressing well so far. <laughs> but... So far... <laughs> Yeah, so far, I mean, three to five. I'm always hopeful when the season starts, and then at the end, it just goes like uh, it goes down at the windshield. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank our guest host today. Host. Thank you, El. Our guest host. <laughs> yeah. Guest star. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> and thank you, Big B, for thank you, Boy Blue, sparing this this <laughs> hour. To talk about mm-hmm. Bojack Horseman. Next episode six. Yeah, what's our next episode? I believe next episode is episode well seven. I know that. Yeah, uh, Clash <laughs> of uh, Heroes. Oh, I forget what that means. That means is that our we favorite talk superheroes. About... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I I can prepare for that. I can... Yeah, that's an easy. It's an easy preparation for us. Yeah. Favorite superhero, L on record. I don't know. She doesn't know. What? <laughs> no. I, I guess I don't really know either. Vincent Adult Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hero to many. <laughs> he said that's what we're all thinking, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I will not lie, most cases at work or when I'm talking to other adult people i feel like vincent adult man i'm like yeah hello fellow adult money banking <laughs> systems yeah <laughs> stock market yeah the business factories yeah. transactions <laughs> well thank you uh listeners subscribe <laughs> if you haven't and watch bojack horseman we just gave you like a billion reasons why. So yeah, more than thirteen. And also spoiled yeah. all of the most dramatic moments of the show. That's true. <laughs> Erase it from your memory. But not that we said it's good. It's it's let it's, that it's good. Yeah, it's let great. that. Yeah. So. <laughs> all right. We are signing out. Till next Adios. week. Adios. <laughs>